the issue of having conversations with parents about why we need to get hearing aids on right away and why they need to wear be worn consistently it's, it's a critical issue and the way that we speak about wearing technology and developing the brain is critical. So to begin with, our conversation needs to emphasize that hearing occurs in the brain and that we have to get information to that brain early. Now, let's look at the organic design of humans. Humans have eyelids. And what happens if you close them? You can't see. Do we have ear lids? There are no ear lids, none. So people who are born with typical hearing, we identify that as doorways to the brain, that means their brain is open for sound 24-7. Now, a child who has a hearing loss, or adult for that matter, how many hours a day is their brain available for high fidelity sound? Now, when I say sound, I mean auditory information, knowledge. Well, their brain is available only as long as they wear the technology. Two hours a day, four hours, 10 hours. Unfortunately, none of today's products, technologies, hearing aids, implants, are engineered for 24-hour wear. So studies have shown, McCreary et al., Ching et al., that we really do need to have this technology on a minimum of 10 hours a day. Remember, this child who may be in a typical mainstream classroom who has a hearing loss, typically hearing children in that classroom, their brain is available for auditory information 24 hours a day. So if we put a child with a hearing loss in the classroom and their brain only gets auditory information four hours a day or six hours, there's no competition there. So we need a minimum of 10 hours a day. And because today's technologies are not perfect replicas of an intact peripheral mechanism doorway, it means that we need to add special enrichment of auditory information, more talking, more reading aloud in order to develop, take this raw potential in the brain and grow the connections and develop knowledge. Hearing is the basis of cognition. I mean, so what determines how smart someone is? It's what they know. The more one knows, the smarter one is. The the innate capacity is important, but capacity potential must be activated. So that's why we say to parents, if you're interested in a listening and spoken language outcome, we have to activate your child's auditory brain centers early and they must, these, this brain must be stimulated with meaningful, enriched auditory conversations at least 10 hours a day.